Well, we just got done with a press conference just a little while ago. So here's what happened. It's an 11 count federal lawsuit for $100 million filed by Rick Warshi, also known as White Boy Rick, against the feds, the FBI, and also the Detroit Police Department. Basically, and I'll summarize the 11 accounts, child abuse and a violation of civil rights. Child abuse? Because white boy Rick was recruited by the FBI when he was just 14 years old. They didn't give him prote protection. He was shot at while he was made to go to drug houses. And then when they were all done with them, they said, okay, at 16 years old. Well, white boy Rick sold some drugs. He got convicted at 17 years old, sentenced to life in prison. And yet when the life or law changed, no cop went to his defense. And now he basically is suing them. Take a look. This is what they did to this person. They took his life. They literally took his life. They, meaning the FBI and the Detroit police, in a $100 million lawsuit against them by Rick Warshi, also known as White Poi Rick. A child was working for the FBI. In a federal lawsuit, Warshi claims that he was just 14 years old, recruited by the Detroit police and the FBI to bring down gangs, and that he was ordered to get into the car and do what the FBI said at 14. The justice system hasn't been fair to me over the last 33 years. I'm hoping now that this is the last book where I can close this chapter, go on with my life. But I think this needed to be done. I think the truth absolutely needed to be told. But one obvious defense would be, how can you sue the cops for something that happened over 30 years ago? You're saying the statute of limitations is told for 30 years uh, when he's in prison? Yes. No, what I'm saying is that because of the fear of retaliation, which has already been proven, it has, it's a very high standard. It's not a very low standard, uh, Charlie. If this individual had a fear, a sincere fear, a legitimate, objective fear of retaliation, absolutely. It's, it's told as long as it has to be in order to bring soon and bring these individuals to justice. This lawsuit was just filed today, so there's been no response from the FBI sure. or the Detroit Police Department. But the sense that why didn't he file it years and years ago, uh, White Boy Rick basically said that you can't file a lawsuit in prison, you could be killed. And so that fear, they say, tolls the statute of limitations. And you only have one year, according to them, after he was released. And just so happens, today is the one year that he was released from prison. So they got him yeah. within time. Again, I absolutely expect the government to challenge that, but we'll see what happens. Also, oh, yes, Tara. No, I, I was wondering, though, how do you sue when a lot of the witnesses are no longer with us? They don't work there, and some are even deceased. Some are dead. That's right. Well, that's a problem, with, the, and that's why we have statute of limitations. Right. That's going to be one of the defenses. Now, I did talk to the uh, Detroit Police Department. They had no comment because it's pending litigation, and the FBI did not get back. They rarely talk about anything, let alone uh, a pending litigation. But you're right, though. It is going to be, he's going to prove his case. Now, he right. says he can do it because they've got affidavits. I mean, this is a very extensive camp, uh, complaint with multiple people that are still alive that can make his case. He's going to have to make the case, but first he's going to have to get by a judge on these technicalities, 30 years, and you can't just sue the government, federal government or state government, city government in this mm. case, the cops. There's a lot of legalities before we get to the merits of this case, but it's filed today, so another chapter in the yeah. life of White well, boy, we, we know so many of those chapters were spent behind bars, and now, of course, he has a, a gripe. Chapter one of this now, we'll see what happens next. We will do that. All right, we thanks, Charlie.